it is safe to say that friendships certainly aren't what they used to be. These days, kids have just as many online friends as they do real friends. And for some, the ones online outnumber the ones that they see every day. And that's why it is so important for us as parents to help our kids determine the difference between the two. A real friend is someone that you know or that you trust and that you see every day and that you do things with and you have conversations with. The people online could be anybody. It's important for them to know that they don't really know who that person is. Yeah. Uh, well, hi, uh, I'm Jared. I am 22 years old and I live in Georgia. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm 21 and I live in Seattle, Washington. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm 22 and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Haley. I'm 25 and I live in New Jersey. In terms of how many friends I've met in person that I've met through the internet, uh, I've met, I want to say only two or three uh, because they were the ones that lived closest. I met one that lives in North Carolina and I met one that lived in Arkansas or Alabama or one of those. Um, as for how many friendships I've just made in general, um, I mean, like probably dozens and a lot that I still keep in contact with now that I've known as long as like since maybe like eighth or ninth grade it's probably maybe between 10 to 20 people especially when i'm traveling to shows um there's always a lot of people in different cities so i've been able to meet a lot of people that way i think um just in terms of how many friends i've made online in general there's probably dozens as well um back in the day i uh <laughs> was <laughs> on tumblr a lot and i actually have like a solid group there's eight of us um that we would meet up at concerts and stuff so they were my first like real real internet friends just from being on tumblr specifically I, i've made a lot of friends that way that like kind of have showed up in my life like it, in, in my adult life, like there are people that like I've come across in working in music that I'm like, oh, I know you from the internet kind of thing, which is like kind of crazy. So this group in particular met through uh, Discord, which is like a website slash app for mostly gaming, but it kind of turned into like a thing that's used more generally as like a big group chat server sort of thing. We all like this band called The Story So Far and the bassist Kellen uh, decided that he was going to make a discord server with the help of some people on twitter telling him to so there's a good number of people that uh started started talking to regularly on there and i think we just became really good friends through um our various interactions and we all became really close we started watching movies together and playing video games um and so i really just became friends with them through that and through interacting that way um and it was like really because of quarantine that we all like really became really close because we had nothing really else to do than hang out with each other, so, yeah. They're not even, I don't typically put the word internet in front of them because they're just friends. Um, and I think I love being able to just talk to them about anything. Um, there are so many things that pull us together. We play games and listen to music together. We just talk about the most random stuff, send memes. Um, like I can really talk to them about anything. Um, and I feel like I kind of talk to them a bit more than I do the people that I first met in real life. And I really love to be able to just have this kind of really close relationship with them. It really is like they're real friends. Like I talk to them about everything. I talk to them every day. Usually we play games together. We have inside jokes. Like they really do like just make me so happy. And anytime I'm having a bad day, like playing games with them or hanging out with them or talking to them really just like makes everything better. Um, so they really do mean the world to me. You know, people that you meet in your everyday life, it's very situational. And sometimes you're thrown into situations where um, you're around the same people every day and they just become your friends because of the fact that they're there. Whereas, um, you know, finding people on the, who like, I would never have met had it not been for the internet. Um, those, th that, there's a choice there that you're like choosing to be friends with these people because they, they like the same things as you they're supportive of you they're um they're there for you in a, in a different way in a very like authentic way this could just be another fake profile he says she's who she says she is he's married it means that the person she's been talking to is a fake this is bad news she's a catfish i just don't understand what's going on guys 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 guys
Getting catfished is so uncommon, it's crazy. People think that people on the internet are creepy no matter who they are. Yeah, I think it's really weird to think about how there is a conception of like getting catfished by someone. And I still think even now when I watch the show Catfish, I feel like those are relatively rare occurrences nowadays, especially because everyone's on technology. You can absolutely love and care about people that you've never met in person and that live on opposite sides of the country or the world or whatever. Um, you can love those people just as much as you love your real friends. Making friends through Discord, like I know who they are. I know just as much about them as I do as my friends in real life. And the way that you make friends in real life is having common interests, things that you like. And that's exactly what all of us have, is common interests, things that we like. We have jokes. We, we do everything that I would do with my friends in real life. We just do it online. And I mean, that's the world we live in nowadays, especially with COVID and quarantine and everything. Like everything we do is online and this is just like the new norm and this is how friendships are built. And it's not any different than any friendship I have like in person, it's the exact same. Wait, why does this stay recording? Who's recording? Emma's recording. Oh, Aww. we're gonna be in her video. Oh no. Other people are gonna I see this. <laughs> Golly! That's really <laughs> funny. Are they gonna see my Care Bear? Yeah. Oh. Yay. Hope so.